Hey everybody, I am here with Johnny Brook from Crafted Workshop this week and we are working on a really, really awesome project. Yeah. It is a molten metal aluminum live edge coffee Lake table. table. Yeah, it's it's hard to describe, there's yeah. too much going on. Yeah. But for that, I wanted to make some DIY hairpin legs. You've seen me use them quite a bit in my videos. So let's go ahead and get started. On, on Modern, Modern Builds. Builds. Nailed it. Nice. <laughs> So you may be asking yourself, why make hairpin legs? You can get a perfectly good set of 16 inch hairpin legs for about 50 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave these links below. And to that question, I have two answers. Hairpin legs come in standard sizes, 16 inch for coffee tables. This size is perfect for about 90% of tables, but the table that Johnny and I are working on has a really, really thick slab tabletop. So instead of 16 inch legs, we are gonna be shooting for an overall dimension of 14 inches tall. The other reason I wanna make my own, aside from just enjoying making things, is that these have a five degree pitch to them, which is standard to hairpin legs. I think they'll look cooler if they have a little bit more of a dramatic angle. We'll be shooting for 15 degrees in this video. Buying pre-made hairpin legs is totally fine. They're affordable, they look really cool, but if you're interested in customizing and getting something a bit more unique, that's when you start building things yourself. So, let's get started. I started by cutting my 3 8 inch steel rod to length. Normally, I would just use a cutoff wheel and an angle grinder, but Johnny had a portable bandsaw that I tried out. And I gotta say, this thing was a lot of fun. Once I had all of my pieces, I got some mineral spirits and I cleaned off all of the mill scale and the gunk off of all of the steel. Now I am not the first person in the world to make a hairpin leg video, in fact I will link a couple more in the description. The jig that I'm going to be making is extremely rudimentary. In the videos I have linked there are a couple more robust jigs, but I just wanted to show how simple and how easy it is to cold bend steel rods. Before we got started, Johnny and I were, believe it or not, a little apprehensive to whether this would actually work. But it turned out that with a little bit of mechanical advantage, you can bend steel rod like this pretty easily without adding any heat. So let's go ahead and start making this jig. To keep things simple, I just use pieces from around Johnny's shop, and I'll go through them as I use them. Johnny's welding table has all of these holes drilled in it, which made it really convenient, but you could also build this jig on a piece of plywood and then screw that to your workbench top. First, I threaded a bolt through the workbench top using a couple of pieces of plate steel, then I got a 15 16 inch socket, or you could just get a 1 inch socket, and I screwed that down on the same bolt. There was a piece of angle iron laying around that I used as the fence, and I used a scrap piece of the 3 8 inch steel rod as a spacer so that I could make a zero clearance gap between the fulcrum point and the fence. We wanted to test and figure out where the fulcrum point was, so I made a bunch of lines, starting at the center, working out about every inch. You want to make sure you're bending around a piece that has a similar diameter as what you want your output to be. We also found that bending one half one way and then flipping the piece over and bending the rest of it, and that gives you a good symmetrical curve rather than being a little bit lopsided like this first one we made. So if the center of your rod is where I put this X, you want to start your bend about an inch back where I have this line that's circled. You'll also want plenty of leverage, that's why I use this one inch square tube to get some mechanical advantage. Once I had it half of the way, I flipped my piece over, and then I bent it the rest of the way, keeping everything symmetrical like I just said. And you'll notice the rods have a little bit of spring back to them, that's why I overbent so that they would come back square. After 7 tries and 4 successful legs, I used this quick jig to mark and cut my legs square at 14 inches. Like I mentioned, I'm using 8th inch hot rolled steel plate for my base, and I used an existing hairpin leg to mark the outline and the holes I needed to drill. But if you're doing this yourself, make sure and check out the written article. I'll have a printable template that you can attach with a little bit of spray adhesive and cut out your shapes. Speaking of, I just used a cut off wheel and an angle grinder to cut the base plates to shape. Once that was done, I moved over to the drill press and I drilled out the holes for the screws to attach to the tabletop. A drill press does make this way easier, but regardless, make sure you use cutting oil so that you don't burn out your bits. Once everything was sanded smooth, I could get prepped for welding. Ooh, I love welding. Having Johnny there as an extra set of hands and, well, as a stand-in welding coach was really, really helpful. He was able to hold the piece at 15 degrees while I tack welded the pieces where they needed to be. Oh, oh shit. I didn't know. That was my, my ring finger was doing it. Whew, that is beautiful. <laughs> my welds definitely weren't pretty, but they were strong, especially once I came back and filled in all the way around the rods. 
And if you are somebody that hasn't but is interested in welding, Johnny and I made a video to hopefully help walk you through that a bit. Make sure and check out the link in the description to that. Pretty close. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I, I, I need to tell you something. Actually, I might help if I just show you. Here, here we go. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's gonna be funny. Today's video is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. We all know that razors and personal care products at department stores are way overpriced and there are way too many options. Well, Dollar Shave Club is the answer. It doesn't matter whether you're clean shaven or if you've got some facial hair, having a good razor is essential to maintaining a good, clean look. And right now, for a limited time, Dollar Shave Club is offering their sh Shower Shave Starter Pack for only $5 to new members. Each box includes an executive razor along with three of their most popular products in trial sizes to help you stay fresh and clean. It'll include their shave butter, body wash, and their One Wipe Charlie butt wipes. Now I know what you're thinking, butt wipes? Yes, they're amazing. Alongside the executive razor that features a premium weighty handle, you'll also receive a full cassette of cartridges to go along with it. And after your first box, replacement cartridges are sent directly to you for only a few bucks a month. This offer is available exclusively at dollarshaveclub.com slash modern builds. Once again, that's dollarshaveclub.com slash modern builds. Link is in the description. Supporting my sponsors directly supports modern builds. So thanks in advance to you all and thanks to Dollar Shave Club. After hitting my welds with a wire brush, I came back with a little bit of acetone to make sure my legs were perfectly clean before we painted them. We wanted a paint dipped look, but could only get the paint we wanted at the store we were at in spray cans. So we masked off a line about six inches up from the bottom of the leg and spray painted them with three coats of Rust-Oleum Appliance Epoxy. It's an enamel based paint that's supposed to be really strong and it's supposed to be able to get cleaned off easily if they ever get scuffed. Needless to say, I was really happy with how the paint job came out, but I still needed to protect the metal from rusting. So I put on a coat of paste wax, which is a really low gloss, natural looking finish, especially compared to any varnish that you would paint on or spray on. So all in all, I am really happy with how this project came out. The white tips look amazing, and most of the time and effort that was spent into this was figuring out how to get the jig to work as best as possible. Plus, it was good welding experience, which is something that I need. And we figured if we were gonna spend all of this time making an incredibly impressive aluminum live edge lake table, it should also have some impressive legs to go along with it rather than some stock hairpin legs that everyone else in the world has. It's kind of funny, in almost every video that I use hairpin legs on, I get the comment asking, well, what about wooden floors? Won't it scratch it or dent them? And to that, I would say yes, if you are rough with your furniture or if you're moving it around a lot. Metal is definitely harder than wood, so if you're jumping up and down on your table or if you have kids running around, there's a good chance that it's either gonna dent your wood floors or you might scrape them sliding the table around. And because of that, I spent some time 3D modeling some hairpin leg floor protectors last week. These are really simple plastic bumpers that your hairpin legs set into. I designed two versions of this, one with a 3 8 inch recess and another with a half inch recess, which are the two standard hairpin leg sizes. The leg is able to set into this recess and your weight is distributed across this entire base. Not to mention, this is a smooth surface that shouldn't scratch your floors if you happen to move your table around. Now I don't have much 3D modeling experience, let alone any 3D printing experience, so I use this service called Shapeways, which is not a sponsor, at least yet. And what they are is a custom 3D printing service. What you do is you upload your 3D model to their website, they're able to scan it to make sure there's no problem areas in your design. Then, once it's approved, they print your 3D model to order. So I have uploaded these designs to the Shapeway store, which is a community-based platform where you can design and sell your own designs to print for other people. So if you're interested, I will leave a link to both the half inch set as well as the 3 8 inch set of hairpin leg protectors. But more importantly than buying my own, I would really urge you to design your own. It doesn't have to be a pyramid like I made. Maybe you want a diamond shape or an oval shape. You can design it in SketchUp, Fusion 360, really whatever platform you prefer. They're surprisingly affordable and the prints look really, really nice. So thanks a lot Shapeways for providing these for me. So I was pretty surprised. These things slap together pretty well. And yeah, they look I'm, great. And they're all pretty symmetrical. Let's be real. 
I'd pay thirty bucks for I, these I'd on Amazon. Happily pay thirty bucks for these. <laughs> yeah, I think the paint looks really, really good. Yeah, exactly. I think that really takes it over the top. Thanks for watching. If you plan on building this project, make sure and follow the link down in the description. That way, you can have a downloadable template to the plate that they're attached to. Make sure and follow the link to Johnny's video where we are attaching these legs to that live edge molten metal aluminum slab table. <laughs> We're working out a better title for that. But yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's, it's going to be, be awesome. really, really cool. Here's some cutaway shots to it. Oh. <laughs> oh, and when we initially recorded the outro, I forgot to thank Kressel Anderson from the channel Maker Size, linked below. He was the integral piece to us being able to melt the aluminum and pour it into the voids of the Live Edge slab. He had the foundry along with the experience that we needed, so make sure and check out his channel too, linked below. If you're not already, make sure and click the subscribe button. I'm not going to cover Johnny, I'll cover me. Right here. <laughs> if you want to watch a couple more of my videos, the slap table is going to be right here. And then here's another video that you can check out if you haven't seen it already. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time on Modern Builds. Modern Builds! <laughs> nice. Awesome.